taking off. XAG drones on display at cereals, the annual show dedicated to crop farming. The Guangzhou-based company has spent three years trying to break into the market, knowing a welcome by UK authorities would help ease their entry into Western Europe. UK market for us is very important because it's not only for the UK but also for the whole Europe because for the neighboring countries actually they keep a close eye on the development in British markets and not only for the regulations but also for other scenarios. After a report showed the wider use of drones could contribute $55 billion to the economy by 2030, while cutting 2.4 million tons of carbon emissions and creating 650,000 new jobs, the British government has got behind them. Behind me you can see traditional sprayers and they're large and extremely heavy on the soil. And it's these that the British government are trying to replace with drones. They want to get over 180,000 into the air by the end of the decade. Farmers can now apply for a 60% grant towards the cost of agricultural drones, while UK regulators have also cleared the spraying of a commonly used pesticide, slug pellets. Other chemical permissions are expected to follow. XAG's UK partner says months of wet weather has also prompted British farmers to look to drones. They can lose their entire crop to slugs because they can't get on to treat them at the right time. And it is about doing it at the right time. Slugs come out when it's wet. Tractors can't go in the field when it's wet. So the farmer is desperately waiting for it to get dry enough that he can get on with his tractor while watching the slugs eat all of his fresh emerging crop. The changes and incentives are leading to a growing number of people investing in drones to offer Uber-style services in painting, seeding and now spraying chemicals. The business with the drones is absolutely new in the UK uh, and farmers didn't use the drone previously, drones previously for the fields or for the greenhouses cleaning. So we're learning about the industry, we are helping guys to form the market. XAG is not the only tech company looking to revolutionize traditional farming practices, with robots an increasingly common sight. If we target pesticides in a more, apply them in a more targeted way, we're going to dramatically reduce usage, we're going to reduce our carbon footprint. You know, if we can do it through, you know, electri electrically driven drones, it's going to change everything. Farmers are still sort of cautious, but they're great takers up of technology when they need to. Costing around $50,000, six XAG drones were sold in the UK last year. That number has jumped to 12 this month. Having cleared regulatory hurdles to fly and now spray chemicals, the Guangzhou-based company says it hopes to replicate the success it's seen in Asia in Western Europe. Catherine Drew, CGTN, Bedfordshire.